One of the most common transformations on data is averaging several variables. That way you can get, for instance, a scale score. It's also a great way of helping balance out the error variance of different scores and really get you more generalizable information. This is easy to do in Jamovi. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this data set that has ID and it has these three rating scale questions. And they're all on a one to five scale and they ask people how much they liked different elements of, for instance, your website. And I'm going to click on each of these first. We'll go to like website and we have a little bit of descriptive text and it's a continuous or quantitative variable that's just on a one to five. If we go to like price, you see it's ordinal and even though it's ordinal, you get to specify levels. Now it just has the one to five, that's easy to do. And then like product, you see here in the data, it has text. It says neither, strongly disagree, and so on. And then it's coded as nominal. On the other hand, it's important to say that it's an integer variable, even if it's nominal. And then over here, we have levels where we have the one, two, three, four, five, and we've put labels on each of those levels. So one is strongly disagree, two is disagree, and so on. The reason this is important is because the numbers still are there underneath those labels. And that's what makes it possible for us to average them. So I'm gonna close this for just a moment, and we're going to create a new variable. I'm going to double click right here, and I can either enter a new data variable, a new computed variable, or a new transformed variable. We're gonna do the middle one right here, a new computed variable. And it's going to ask for the name of that new variable. I'm simply gonna call it the mean. And we can give it a description if we want. I'm gonna put down here the average of three rating scale variables. The easiest way to do this is to come to the function window. And if you're used to SPSS or to Excel, you know you got a lot of different choices. There's a much smaller range in Jamovi, but they're basically the ones that you need. I'm gonna scroll down a little bit and get to mean. And I'm gonna double click on that to put it in the box. And then I need to tell it what variables I want to include. I'm gonna come over here to the variable list and simply double click on the first one. And when I double click on it, it puts it up here and you'll see that it puts it in back ticks. Those are sort of back leaning apostrophes. That's because there's a space or a non-text character in here. If you had an underscore or a dash, it might do the same thing. It's actually a nice reason to not have spaces or other things in your variable names because then you don't have to do the back ticks. But Jamovi is going to do that for us automatically. Now, when you have a range of variables that are all next to each other, in SPSS, you can give the name of the first one and then write TO, capital two, and the last one. In Jamovi, you need to specify each of them separately. So I'm going to put a comma, and then I'll click the second one, and a comma, and I'll click the third one. And now I've got that and I can close this. And you can see it automatically fills in with the mean. Even though there are three different levels of measurement, it knows that they all have numerical information. Now I said it was important that this one right here was specified as integer. Let me double click on that again. And then you'll see if I come down here and I say it's not integer, but it's text, then you see the mean disappears, even though those levels still remain. But if I come back and tell it again, no, it's integer, then the mean reappears. It's able to treat it as numeric information. And so that's how you can average several variables in Jamovi, which gets you a long way towards getting more reliable scores, averaging out some of the variants, and getting the scale scores that you may need for your further analyses.